all right my sql learners in this section we're going to learn about locks more specifically i want to talk about the isolation levels actually so the first thing is just see what i have here i have like two terminal sessions one is in black the other one is in slight maroon color so i am actually going to log into the database as root user and i'm going to do the same thing over here there you go i am logged into my sql database so i have a little script here to create a dummy table called t1 okay so let me show you the sql script so at this point actually you might not understand the SQL syntax and so on but then let me explain uh, briefly first thing I'm doing is setting auto commit to zero or commit is basically a command that you use to save your work basically the, the data changes that you're doing uh, is permanently stored in the database when you issue a commit command in mysql you have this variable called auto commit which is turned on by default meaning all your commands will be automatically committed if you don't turn this off i want to have more control over what i'm doing here so basically i am uh, doing an auto commit disable first so and then i'm starting a transaction and uh, just to be safe i'm dropping this table if i had already created it uh, so this table doesn't exist so it says unknown table and uh, the next thing is i'm creating a table called t1 in ecom store schema and then the column name is c1 and the data type is int and it's a primary key so and then i'm actually inserting a value just one row into this table called t1 right the one that we just created and i issue a commit command alter, alter alternative to commit is a rollback command so which basically rolls back or reverts the changes that you just done in that session so if i just do a select star from the stable then I'm going to see this value so which is fine so far so this is pretty straightforward uh, so far we haven't talked about the isolation levels so what I mean by isolation level is when multiple sessions are trying to modify or access the same data then you need locking mechanism to make sure the data is not corrupted or the database is behaving in a way that you expect to see how you actually set isolation levels and this is the command so this is the other session I had open show session variables like isolation so that shows like the transaction isolation level is set to read committed right so this is one of the possible options actually so this is read committed and you have read uncommitted and you have repetitive read or repeatable read uh, and then you have a serializable uh, value actually so let's go one by one right in this session i already started a transaction so i'm going to actually try to update this value using an update command so basically i am updating the same table and I'm updating this column to 2 where the column value is currently 1 right so I'm going to do that the auto commit is turned off so it's not committed yet I'm going to start a transaction over here and let me run a query against the same table and we just copy and paste the table name don't want to type it okay so we see the value 1 which is the previous value and if I ran the same query over here in this session I see uh, the value 2 because this is the session where we are modifying the data right so and I can see the changes before committing in the same se uh, session here actually since the the value of this transaction isolation or the isolation level is set to read committed uh, it is possible only to read the committed data in other words when multiple sessions are accessing the same data in this case 
this column right here from this table apart from the session that is actually modifying the data the other sessions can only see committed data any data that is committed just before this select is executed so i'm going to go here and run a commit and come back over here and run a select so now you see the latest data because that commit happened before I ran this query. Now let's talk about read uncommitted isolation setting actually. Freshly log in again because these things can get tricky. So every time I want to just recreate the tables to remove any confusion. So let's actually log in again. Okay, in here and I'm actually going to execute the same script that I showed you before. So just disabling order commit, starting a transaction, dropping this table, recreating it, inserting this value, and then running a commit. So now here, what we could do is go ahead and update this value to two. But remember, I haven't committed this data yet. Let's go to this session and here, go ahead and uh, change the setting to uh, the isolation setting to read uncommitted because by default it is always set to um, read committed actually right so you can see that here so and this is a session level setting and you can also change it at global level but for the purpose of this demo we just need to change it uh, at the session level so session level isolation initially read committed then i ran the set session transaction isolation level read uncommitted and then checking the value again now it's changed to read uncommitted if i ran a select star from this table then i get the value 2 and if you remember that i i only updated the value from 1 to 2 and you can already see this data even though it is not committed over here so that is how read uncommitted works so there is not much locking going on here because database is now letting the sessions do dirty reads because one session is able to read another sessions changes even before the commits happen actually right so those are dirty reads yes actually so let's go on to the next one so we have seen read committed and read uncommitted so far so now let's move on to repeatable reads actually right so exit so here I am going to just commit and I'm going to re rerun my initial script just to clear the table so drop table and then recreate it insert value one again and then commit so now the table is back to how it looked before. So here, let me log in again. So this is repeatable read setting, right? So remember that the default value for this isolation setting is always read committed. So if I change it to repeatable read, right? And then check the value again. Then you can see this so and again remember or show variables is the command to check the current value and then set is the command to set uh, the configuration right so I will put all these commands in like a git github repo file um, then you can actually uh, grab the commands from there and then you can try them yourself basically I'm changing I'm changing the setting from read committed to repeatable read right so I'm going to just start a new transaction over here in here I'm going to update this value to 2 and over here I'm going to run the select query that we saw before just selecting everything from this table and you see that the value is currently 1 and that makes sense uh, so let me go ahead and run commit and if I run the same query again I see the value 1 and this is the same as the value that was read before even though the data was changed by this other session 
and then committed within this transaction the data that we are seeing is the same in in other terms basically we are we are reading the same data or the, the reads are being repeated right so that is the third setting and the last one is the most strict locking uh, configuration so which is called serializable so i'm going to uh, as usual i'm going to drop the table and then just recreate them recreated inserted value one again and then i commit so here i'm going to log in again and uh, as usual the default setting is read committed right so let's check that first just to show you and then i'm going to change it to serializ serializable so what this means is basically i'm going to start a transaction so on the first session i'm going to run an update basically changing the value from one to two and here i'm going to start a transaction and i'm going to run a query on that table right and now this query even though it's just a select a select is just a read it's not updating it's not deleting or doing anything it's just a read it is waiting because uh, the update is basically updating this data and then it's not database mysql database is not even letting this read or the select query from the other session to see the data so this is the most strict setting actually so if i do a commit over here then on this other session you will see that the, the query is written and it's seeing the latest uh, value right so if i go ahead and run another select of course it's returning the same thing but if i try to update this value from two to three another update that is basically going to wait on the select basically this transaction that is running right now because the select again select is just a read it is just reading the data but still it is locking that row in the database and it's not letting any updates or modifications to that data and then you can see that the update even failed because it waited for some time and then the timeout value exceeded so we don't have to go into those details but i'm going to try updating now and here i am just going to exit out of this session which will release all the logs and that will help the the update to go through and then I can commit and exit as well. And I hope it was clear to you guys. And if you have any questions, please put it in the comments and reach out to me somehow. I know you can figure it out. I'll see you guys in the next section.